Kind of. Good morning, Trailblazers. Today is Friday, September 27th. Good morning, Trailblazers. Today's Friday, September 22nd, 2017. I'm Hayden. I'm Jaden. And we are your news anchors from Miss Alexander, Miss Alexander's class. Everyone, please stand for the national anthem and remain standing for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today's lunch is chicken nuggets and macaroni and cheese, bean and cheese burrito, or turkey ham and cheese sandwich. Side items include steamed broccoli florets and sweet potato souffle. Fruit is also available. Here's Miss Christinger. Christinger? Ah, I can't say that. Christinger. for Media News. There we are. Good morning, Trailblazers. Happy Friday. I'm here with Mrs. Gruber. This is a media guidance special announcement time. So um, just a real quick announcement from media. You have been waiting patiently for those charms, those necklaces, those brag tags for AR to start the year off. They are here. They have been put into your teacher's boxes, OK? So ask your teachers about those brag tags and SSYRA charms. All right, happy Friday, happy reading. Make sure you come down to the Media Center and check out reading for the weekend. All right, a little shout out from both special areas today. Uh, I wanted to uh, get you that announcement for the Blazer winner who did receive their popcorn on Wednesday, but I wanted to give a shout out and make sure everybody knew that last week for three through five, Miss Molina's class won the Blazer Award for Star Student Behavior in Special Area. Great job, guys. Number one. All right. And for K through two, they already know, but Mrs. Haken's class, you guys were awesome, fantastic, saw star student behavior all through that class. They are awesome. All right, that's my shout out. Back to the news team. <coughs> now let's go to Ms. Keltner and Dr. Poole for a few announcements. Good, Good morning, Trailblazers. Trailblazers. Happy Friday. Friday. I tell week. you, a, a whole full week. <laughs> we did it. I tell you, a full week, and we have a full list of names that we're celebrating for birthdays. So I'm going to jump right in. We have James Hurst. We have Reagan O'Neill, Lily Green, Tristan Tyndall, Haley Lamoth, and Corbin Mason, all between uh, today and um, this weekend as well. Happy birthday, boys and girls. Come on Happy down birthday. to the front office yes. because we are indeed celebrating with you. In addition to that, and you know, Mrs. Keltner, you gave that to me. We have some more celebrations. Mm -hmm. We have extra math Lots coming from coming from uh, Lenny Colcott's class. We have Shavam who has mastered his multiplication facts. Way to go! Way to go! We have. I think I did Logan B. Logan B., but he's completed his division in extra oh, math in Mrs. Uh, Alexander's class. Awesome. And from Mrs. Dillon's class, we have Gavin Field, Fields, oh, who has Gavin. mastered his addition in extra math. 
and Mrs. Burr's class. We have quite a bit. She said she meant to see send this. Let me make sure I got all of the extra math before I say that. Coming from Mrs. Mm -hmm. Morris's class, we have Jerry Chen, who has mastered his division facts in extra math. Awesome and you know, job, Trailblazers. Way they are doing such a fantastic job mm -hmm. already. And speaking of doing a fantastic job, we had a note here from um, Mrs. Bird, and mm -hmm. she sent this out in reference to recognition of the Safety Patrol students yes. who are actually doing a fantastic way job. Patrols, so we want to say really patrols keep Keep up the good work. We need them, and they're Definitely. doing a fantastic That's job. Good. And thank you to Miss Strange for leading our patrols Yes, she's this year. doing an awesome yep, doing job. Doing a great job, too. All right, well, we have two more birthdays to celebrate, faculty and staff. Miss LaToya Bennett, our cafeteria manager's birthday is today, so when you're in the cafeteria, give her a big high five and wish her happy birthday. And then one of our wonderful aides, Elise Pittman, her birthday is Sunday. So when you see her in the halls, give her a big happy birthday wish, too. All right, today's Hispanic American History um, Heritage Month trivia question is 63% of Hispanic Americans are of Mexican descent. 10% are Puerto Rican. We have one of those 10% right here at DeSoto Trail. 4% Cuban, 4% Salvadoran, 3% Dominican, and 2% Guatemalan. The remaining 16% are from Central America, South America, and other Hispanic origins. Wow. So definitely... Um, Part of our American heritage culture. Yes, very mm -hmm. much so. Yeah, definitely. Proud I think to those are all the announcements I have. Anything yes. else, Dr. Paul? Uh, just a little bit later, right after the science minute. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Here's Science Minute with Mr. Miller. Good morning. For today's Science Minute, we have a question from Mrs. Bellflower Why do stars appear to twinkle? Stars twinkle because they're so away from Earth that even through large telescopes they appear only as pinpoints. The twinkling of the stars is known as astronomical scintillation and it's caused not by the stars themselves but by the Earth's atmosphere. In order to reach our eyes the light from the stars must travel through constantly moving pockets of warm and cold air in our atmosphere. The light hits what are basically changes in density so it is refracted or bent in random directions. Were you to observe them from the moon, however, they would not twinkle, as it has no atmosphere to refract or bend their light. Planets shine more steadily because they're closer to Earth, and so appear not as pinpoints, but as tiny disks in our sky. You would see planets as disks if you looked through a telescope, while stars would remain pinpoints. The light from these little disks is also refracted by Earth's atmosphere as it travels toward our eyes. But while the light from one edge of a planet's disk might be forced to zig one way, light from the opposite edge of the disk might be zagging in the opposite way. The zigs and zags of light from a planetary disk cancel each other out, and that's why planets appear to shine steadily. That's it for today's Science Minute. Next Tuesday, we'll be talking about the nearest star to Earth aside from our sun. Don't forget to get your science questions in for us to investigate. Now here's Dr. Poole. I have a special mic because I have a special announcement. Now, this morning we are celebrating our bus students of the week and this week miss Keltner we have six students because we've been missing the past two Fridays but coming from the blue bus we have Kaylee Willis who was nominated by the bus driver and Kiara Beatty who was nominated by the bus driver from the black bus we have Tyler Campbell and we have Joel Adams and from the green bus we have Maggie Piper and Lewis Thomason now boys and girls I want you to just share with everyone why are you why were you nominated by the bus driver I read and was quiet because I was reading quiet and not talking. Because I came in and sat down and read my book. Because I wasn't talking. Because I was reading quietly and not talking. 
because I was reading quietly and not talking throughout the entire year. Now, tell, can you tell every, can just one of you tell everybody, when are you actually doing this reading? What's happening when you're doing this reading? Um, I'm just sitting down. I just get out my book. What is the bus doing? Um, talking, but me and Kaylee haven't, we've been reading. I'm looking for one, one, one big word, and that's our theme of our bus. What is the bus doing? Reading. Reading. What is the bus doing? Very good. We have a rolling read bus. And boys and girls, because of the fact that you were my special mic. You got to love it. I love this mic. There we go. Boys and girls, because you have been nominated by your bus driver, each of you get a Starbucks and you get an opportunity to um, use it at the school store. And I, uh, we didn't have school store this week, but it's going to be coming, so you will get an opportunity to use it. So, boys and girls, for those of you that were not on the news on the bus this morning, they actually celebrated you, gave you a hand clap. So here's your Starbucks to use. There you go. Keep up the good work. And bus students and students all over the campus, when you see them, Pat them on the back and tell them way to go and keep up the good work. This is what our trail, trailblazers do. We rolling read. What do we do? Rolling read. Oh, thank you. Back to the news team. That's it. Today's edition, edition of WDTS. WDTS. Keep, keep putting the pieces together, together for your, your success, trailblazers. trailblazers. Bye. 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 Bye.